With battery power, the future of going fast is assured. But what are the implications of putting AI in charge of such high performance? One of the most contentious areas of artificial intelligence concerns ethics. Should autonomous cars be programmed to protect the people inside the vehicle or the pedestrians outside of it? Oh no, we're gonna kill you. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology's online survey asks people to select what they consider the lesser of two evils in a variety of hypothetical accidents. You see, what do I do here? I'm driving up to a pedestrian crossing. On the right-hand side, <coughs> I've got one female athlete, one homeless person, one man. And on the left-hand side, I've got a cat and two dogs. You know where I'm going. <laughs> no bigger dog lover than me. <laughs> I'm wiping out the humans. That's what I'm doing every day of the week. The crowdsourced data will be used to inform what sort of rules need to be given to artificially intelligent machines so they can make life or death decisions. Then right, pick the next one. I'm saving um, the baby and the woman. Well, I could be the father, I'm speaking, it could be. So far, most people feel the best course of action to take is the one that saves most lives. But Guy subscribes to a different school of thought. For me, whoever's in the car dies. Anyone not in the car, they're the innocent party. They weren't asking for trouble. They don't deserve to get mowed over, so those in the car, I, I think you should pay the penalty. You're in the killing machine.